hi beautiful people this is Maggie here the seed of Abraham welcome back to my channel so today uh, I want to speak on salvation and I was just asking myself and I've been asking myself and I've been uh, meditating on the love of Christ Jesus and I was like what kind of love that we have you know that jesus gave to us there's no man in this world that a woman can love you the way god loves us the way jesus loved us you know even the bible says in the book of romans 8 uh around 18th verse or 16 i can't remember very well but the bible says that no one no one can separate you from the love of christ jesus not power above or power beneath or even in this world no one or nothing can separate you from the love of christ jesus because he displayed all his love when jesus came in this world just to save us to reconcile us with the father our god in heaven because god always wanted us to be his family he loved us so much do you know that you're above angels do you know that uh when right now when we're in this world we are below angels but when we go to heaven we are going to be above angels even the bible says in the book of uh, revelations um uh, yes in revelations and also in one i don't know whether it's hebrews that we are going to judge angels paul was teaching that to one of the judges that we are going to judge the angels do you know that you're going to judge the angels because when you you get born again you receive christ but when you're in this world you are below angels but when we go to heaven then you're going to be above angels because you are the family of god jesus christ when he came in this world and died there at the cross and we as christians today when you get born again you become a new creation and the bible says you become a child of god yeah you are a child of god you are a child of god and god loves you so much and that's why even the bible says that we are joined here with christ to jesus that everything that belongs to jesus belongs to us and that's why even the bible says that uh, when jesus comes back when we come back with him we are going to reign with him right now we are reigning in this world in his name we are reigning in this world in the name of jesus but when we come back with jesus you know after rapture and then after tribulation when it's over we are going to come back in Earth, earth with the new jerusalem and we are going to reign with christ jesus forevermore and that's why that bring me to this question that i want to ask you today when you received christ jesus what did you receive there are three things that you received when we got born again i would like to ask you to ask yourself what you received when you received jesus christ as your savior when you confessed your sins and you believed that jesus christ is your savior what did you receive of course sometimes we say that we received power and we received all kind of things but there is something so important three things that are so important that we received when we go born again and i would like you to ask yourself what you received that day that you go born again and uh, I'm going to take you back to Sunday school because, uh, you know, it's so interesting that the verses that we used to recite when we're in Sunday school, sometimes we didn't put a lot of, um, uh, you know, uh, attention to them. We're just reciting them. And even maybe right now from that verse that I'm going to read to you right now, maybe you are going to, uh, see something that you never saw before and 
the book of god is so profound and it's so beautiful because it's new every day you learn something even from the words that you've been saying reciting every day you get something new because the spirit of god always give us new revelations from the word of god and that's why it's very important to meditate on the word of god every day and so i'm going to read you from the first uh, book of john 3 16 and of course you know it that for god so loved the world and he gave us his only begotten son jesus whosoever believes in him shall not perish but will have eternal life there you go the first thing that you received when you got born again is eternal life you received eternal life when you go born again and what is eternal life is eternal life it's the life after this world is the life after death that we are going to reign with christ forevermore we there's no death again people are not going to die again so you're going to be immortal you'll never die again and you know there's something so important about um eternal life because the bible says he gave us an assurance that we are not going to die because after tribulations after all that the bible says that death and the and hell will be thrown in the lake of fire people don't believe about hell and um lake of fire they say that god so loves us that uh, uh he loves people so much and is a just God. So why should he create hell? Hell was not created for us. Hell was created for the devil and all his demons, you know. But if you don't, and that's why he gave you a choice. You need to choose whether you want Christ or you want, you know, the life to live can carnally you know in this um uh, in this world you know with the carnally minded when you think like that your mind is just carnal and you want to live in this world with the pressures of this world but you have to sacrifice yourself because jesus died there the cross for you and for me he wants us to live with him forevermore but if you're not going to accept him you know, I wonder those who says that um, there's no hell or God will not allow that to happen for people to be thrown in hell. Our God is so faithful and he's always true to his word. The Bible says that his word will never come back to him empty without doing that what he has purpose to do. The word of God, you know, he is so just even to his word. And if he gave us his son jesus to die there to be crucified and he went through so much just for us what makes you think that he's not gonna um create hell for those who are not going to uh, uh to believe in him or accept him the bible says that jesus is the way the truth and life he's the only way he's the only life that we have so when you accept jesus you have that life forevermore you will never die you become immortal so there is life after death and in the book of revelation 20 i will read to you 2014 it says that um then death and the word of the dead were thrown into the lake of fire what is the word of the dead the word of the dead is hell it's hell you know there are people in hell today there are people in hell today you remember that story uh, about the rich man and the lazarus the rich man was in hell and he his when he lifted his eyes up he saw lazarus seated in the right hand of abraham and he was he was telling abraham please i just need a drop of water just a drop of water because hell is not a joke it's all very hard and i can imagine it's a very bad so you not wish to be in hell don't wish that and so 
hell will be thrown in the lake of fire. So imagine, hell is not worse. Lake of fire is even worse because it will be fire, fire, fire. And I don't want even to imagine that kind of fire that is going to be there. That even death itself, because death, I believe, is a spirit. And so death and, the, and hell is going to be thrown in the lake of fire. So please, don't be among those who are going to be thrown in the lake of fire. And that's why today I come to you to tell you about the good news of Christ Jesus. You know, salvation is not hard. Salvation is, is, is not hard to be born again. It's not hard. It's just believing in Christ Jesus and confessing that he is your savior. Today, it is not hard. So I urge you today, if you're not born again, please just believe in God, believe in Christ and receive his salvation today. Confess him with your mouth. You believe in your heart, then you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is your savior. For you to be in the right hand of God, to be in the right side, because you don't want to die. And then when you die, you find out that there is hell. So it's better you be in the right place, you know. So don't wait until that time because you'll not have a second chance. And even those who are going to be left behind after rapture, you know, you're going to uh, earn your salvation with your blood because at that time, the time of grace will be over. Right now, we are living in that time of grace. So don't wait until that time when others have uh, gone and then you wait until that time where you're going to pay, you know, uh, your life or eternal life with your with your with your head or with your blood don't wait until that enjoy this time of grace because God has given us this time and he gave us choices so it's up to you to choose which way you want to go because God is so gentle he doesn't force you to believe in Christ he doesn't force you. But us who are born again today, that's why, that's what is needed for us to spread the gospel of Christ Jesus. Are you spreading the gospel wherever you are? Are you preaching to your family? Are you preaching to your friends? Are you preaching uh, this beautiful gospel of Christ Jesus in your workplace? You know, wherever you are, preach, receive that boldness and courage and speak the word of God. Don't care what people will think about you. Just speak the word and preach the gospel because there is a reward for that. Because Jesus, when he saved us, that is what he needs us to do, to go out there because he can't come here again to spread the gospel by himself. But as we are ruling this world in his name, you know, spread the gospel of Christ Jesus. You know, when you truly love your brothers or your sisters, you will tell them about Christ Jesus. But if you're not going to tell them about Christ Jesus, then that is just a freshly love. You know, it is not a true love. But if you truly love someone, then you will tell them about Christ Jesus. Tell them about the salvation. Tell them about the good news. Salvation is an enjoyable thing. When you, uh, you because you get joy every day, peace. Even if you're going through hardship, you know, even when you're going through difficult times, there is that joy that surpasses all understanding. There is that peace of God. There is that peace that you can't even understand. You know, there is peace of God. There is joy. Even when people look at you, they think that you're not suffering because you are, God has already uh, clothed you with uh, that glory. His glory of joy. His glory of peace. You know, it's so beautiful. Salvation is beautiful. Jesus is so wonderful. I love Jesus. And that's why I come to you today. And that's why I started my YouTube channel. Because God wanted me to do this. I will tell you one time how and why I started this um, channel. It's because um, 
I had a dream and I will tell you, I'm not going to tell you this dream today, but I will tell you why I started this channel to spread the gospel of Christ Jesus. I'm someone who is so passionate. I love Jesus with everything that I am. I am not ashamed of him. I have failed him so many times. I've failed him, but I believe in that God who justifies the ungodly. So don't, don't uh, uh, try to... Uh, or to doubt or to feel guilty that uh, or to feel as if you're not born again no when you received christ you know when you received christ you became one with christ you became one with jesus so when you just confess your sin god is so faithful and merciful he's going to take you back you know, he loves us so much and it is not his will for us to go to hell. No, it is his will for us to reign with him. Jesus loves us with everything that he has. And that's why he has given us everything. Everything has been made available for us in Jesus' mighty name. Our glory to God. I love this Jesus so much. My Jesus, he's my savior. He's my love, my everything. He's my friend and I'm not ashamed of him. And so the second thing that we receive when we get born again is the, um, uh, we receive a uh, um, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit will guide you. Holy Spirit will direct your path. You know, after confessing your sin, then your pastor or um, he's going to lead you or anyone who is helping you to receive Christ who is praying for you then he's going to guide you to receive the spirit of God or even when you are alone just tell Holy Spirit I receive you today you don't have to be led by anyone when you are just alone just tell Holy Spirit Holy Spirit is so gentle and so loving he was going to come and feel you he's going to feel every fiber in you and he's going to direct you he's going to guide you every time you know and so he's going to be there every time holy spirit he's a loving god he's our loving father you know i remember there was a time that i didn't know holy spirit and when I knew him, my mom is so important to have a spiritual mother or spiritual authority. It's so important and beautiful. So I didn't know about her spirit. And I remember I used to call him it. And it's so bad. You know, when I came to know him, I felt so sorry. I cried. I told him so sorry so many times for calling him that because he Holy Spirit is Him. He is God. He is not less than Jesus or He is not less than God, but He is the Spirit of God. He is God, but He lives in us. That's how much God loves us. You know, that's how much He loves His people that He wanted to have, you know, that communion, that, um, you know interaction with these people that's why even he lives in us he lives in you today so it's so beautiful that today we have our spirit we have god who help us who direct us in every way that we live and another the third the final part that we received the third one is uh we received righteousness we received righteousness. The Bible says that we are righteous of God in Christ Jesus. So we received the gift of righteousness. Righteousness is a gift because no one can be righteous in this world of sin. You know, the Bible says that the devil, he is the prince of this world. So in this world of sin, there's so many temptations. There's so many things. Sometimes you, you, you get angry. Sometimes you fear. Sometimes and all those things that uh, come in your way, uh, you know, uh, or you find yourself that you have sin, you know, and because of the righteousness of God, God is so holy. God is so holy. You know, He is so holy. We can't go before Him uh, with this um, our natural life. But because of the righteousness of Jesus, that righteousness of Jesus, we 
we acquired that uh, place in God. When God looks at us today, he sees Jesus. When he looks at you, he doesn't see you. He sees Jesus in you. He sees the righteousness of Jesus in you. So that's why we are the righteous of God in Christ Jesus. So it's so beautiful. So today I urge you to receive Christ. I urge you to receive the, the salvation. Because the Bible says in the book of Acts 4.12 that there is no other name given in this world under heaven that can give you salvation apart from the name of jesus actually i'm going to read uh, to you that uh, verse it's in the book of uh, acts 4 verses 12 and it says salvation is to be found through him alone in all the world there is no one else whom god has given who can save us and you know uh, another version says that there is no name given under heaven that can save you apart from the name of Jesus Christ. Only in the name of Jesus that can save you. And he is the only way, the truth and the life. So choose that life. Choose the life of Christ today. I urge you to choose that life of Jesus and you will never regret. Even when temptations comes, even when hardship comes, don't give up. Continue holding on to Christ Jesus. Continue holding on to him because he is going to lead you. He is going to give you grace to overcome whatever you are going through today. He gives more grace to overcome the hardship and after the hardship after the drought there is an overflow there are going to be an overflow of blessings in your life there are going to be an overflow of good things in your life because the bible says that he has supplied everything that we need according to his riches in glory in christ jesus so we have been given everything that we need to live a victorious life to live a successful life so today uh, go out there preach the good news today spread the gospel you know because god chose you with a purpose you received salvation with the purpose. Do you know that uh, before even you received Christ, he had already chosen you. Holy Spirit is the one who helped you to receive Christ. Yeah, you got an encounter with him and that's why you received Christ. It was not by your power. It was by the Spirit of God. So please help another person to receive Christ Jesus. Spread this good news. You know, and I love you so much. Thank you for subscribing. And those who have not subscribed on my channel, I'll subscribe. And thank you so much. God bless you. I love you so very much. And please, if you, uh, you get blessed, give me a thumbs up. And please share to other people. Share this video. And I will be so grateful. Thank you so much. God bless you. Until next week. Thank you. Amen.